Last weekend, NASCAR had a race, the Brickyard 400 in Indiana. And during the race, the first pro-marijuana legalization commercial was going to air, but at the last minute, it was pulled. Now, uh, somehow the Drug Free America Foundation got involved and the ad didn't run. I don't know exactly the specifics of that. I think that foundation went to NASCAR and pleaded with them to not run it and they didn't run it. But again, I'm not sure. They might have went directly to uh, the company that wanted to run the ad or whatever the case is. But either way, I have the ad for you. Let's listen. If you're an adult who enjoys a good beer, there's a similar product you might want to know about. One without all the calories and serious health problems. Less toxic so it doesn't cause hangovers or overdose deaths, and it's not linked to violence or reckless behavior. Marijuana. Less harmful than alcohol, and time to treat it that way. For more information, visit MarijuanaIsSafer.org. All right. All right, that was pretty good. Uh, the part I like about it, it's kind of true. They, I always reference this uh, one study. It was done, I think, in 2005 in Britain, where they actually ranked the lethality of different drugs. Uh, alcohol was about number 11 on the list. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Alcohol was number 5 on the list. Marijuana was about number 11 on the list. So how does that make sense, that alcohol is legal and marijuana is illegal? Because it's not about... Uh, how it actually acts in terms of how bad it is as a drug, how much it hurts you, so on and so forth. Uh, the only parts of it that are, uh, yeah, let's be honest, says, oh, no, no, it's cool, uh, no calories. It's not like alcohol. Alcohol put a belly on you. Marijuana won't do that. It's called munchies. Yes, it will. It'll put weight on you. Uh, and then they say, oh, no, no, no hangover either. So, again, better than alcohol. Look, again, I agree with you, it's, it, it's a fact that it's not as dangerous as alcohol, that's totally true. But, yeah, no hangover, but you do, you can feel burnt out. You can have the perpetual cotton mouth, and you feel like as you're walking, you're like, I feel weird, and I was burnt out today. That's, that's the term, at least that I used to use, and my friends used to use, the couple times I did smoke when I was in high school. I'm serious, too, I'm not like, it's not my, not my favorite drug. I get kind of paranoid on it, don't ask me why. Um... So, yeah, overall, look, I think the ad should have ran. A lot of the ad is true. And, uh, look, the bottom line when it comes to drug policy, it, think about it like this. If an alien came down to Earth and you had to explain to them our drug policy, so they have a list of all these different drugs and you have to explain what each one does, and, you, and uh, they say, okay, so how's this work? And you say, well, the alcohol's legal, uh, nicotine is legal, tobacco's legal, caffeine is legal, and then, yeah, the rest of these are, it's, it's complicated, but most of them are illegal. And the alien would say, okay, so why? Your answer would be, <laughs> because there is no answer. Because like I said, marijuana is not as bad for you. A lot of the drugs that are illegal are not as bad for you. So it doesn't make any sense. What we should do is legalize all of them, uh, regulate all of it, tax all of it, uh, treat uh, addiction problems like it's a medical issue, not like it's a criminal issue, and just that alone uh, would help us out big time and would be a big step in the right direction.